Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking about ENFP adventurousness and ENFP FOMO. First of all, I want to say ENFPs, they are great adventurers, potentially discoverers of new worlds and places, potentially people that make new discoveries in science or uh, new ideas, people that uh, uh, research new opportunities, people that make new connections that can be valuable to a company, people that uh, seek out and seek to have new and fulfilling friendships and people that seek to uh, go to and experience new things. However, beyond this love for and joy in making new discoveries, there is also a darker side and that dark side is FOMO, fear of missing out. Fear of missing out can manifest itself in a fear of stagnation, of nothing happening, of having nothing to do. It can also manifest itself as a feeling of being stuck, of uh, being incapable of doing something or going somewhere, not having the money or finances to support yourself or in doing something. Uh, fear of missing out can manifest itself in a feeling of uh, force or being forced to do something or to go somewhere and so not being able to do what you really want. So feeling a pressure that I have to be here or I have to do that or I have to do this, go to work, be a, show up at a certain time, you know, finish a deadline or uh, show up for a friend who needs me, you know. Uh, those kind of things can also trigger FOMO. And FOMO can also be this uh, sense of uh, restlessly nitpicking on everything that is wrong in your life. So just noting down that I don't like this and I'm not happy with that and feeling a bit pricklish, kind of like feeling like this a bit of uh, negative tingling in your body and in just overall things, just not liking things, just not liking um, or not feeling happy with the things. The couch is not soft enough, the blankie is not fluffy enough, the tea is not warm enough, you know, the food is not tasty enough. The, something is missing, something that I should be doing should be different, something uh, I need to go somewhere, I need to do something, I need to be somewhere. But now, here's the tricky thing, we're living in 2020, the worst year of uh, human existence, okay, I'm not gonna uh, downplay the struggles of 1920 or people who have lived before us, but okay, in modern human history, 2020, the shittiest year of the yeah, <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Basically, uh, it's, um, there is this just widespread feeling of feeling trapped, of feeling stuck, of feeling stagnation, of feeling like nothing is happening, there's nothing new to do, there's no new experiences to be had. And that's just so soul crushing, draining, exhausting, and stressful, especially for an ENFP, because what is this? I mean, you want to have new experiences. Maybe you're looking for a new job. Maybe you're looking uh, to go somewhere. Maybe you were planning a big vacation. Maybe you were uh, having it or pa just looking forward to something and to have that feeling like you cannot do anything. You cannot plan. You cannot, uh, everything you say is just speculation. It's just uh, loose daydreaming. It's just uh, throwing out ideas. It's not having anything real to do. That's so soul crushing. And I think as an ENFP, uh, you have to know that, okay, first of all, you're not alone in this experience. You know, there's a lot of people who struggle just like you do. And there are things you can do in these trying times. So as an ENFP, to mitigate for fear of missing out, the first thing you have to remember is uh, you're not the only one who's missing out. Uh, everyone's missing out. And in a sense, uh, you're not actually missing out on anything because there's actually nothing really happening. So you cannot miss out on something that is not happening. So that's at least uh, on the plus side. You know, you can't miss out on something that isn't happening. Nobody is going out uh, posting on Instagram about their latest concert event. Nobody is uh, at Comic Con at the moment. Nobody is, you know, uh, uh, going uh, to New Zealand uh, for three months to, uh, I don't know, pet sheep and alpacas. I don't know if any alpacas live there, but still. <laughs> Uh, basically, you're not alone in this experience. Secondly, you can look at 2020 as a practical year. What I mean with this is, this is the year to really just think about what it is you can do that will open doors for you in the future. And that means, are there any new skills you could learn? 
is there any new things you could develop in yourself that can help you 2021 or 2022 or 2030 you know uh, what is it that can open doors for you in the years to come that you could do now because this is the year where you're not going to be procrastinating anymore on getting that driver's license or uh, learning that Excel course or but, uh, brushing up on programming or uh, taking up a new college degree or uh, starting an online course. So this is the year where you have all the time in the world to do that and to focus on that. So that's uh, the greatest uh, reminder. You just use this time uh, in lockdown and uh, uh, in sub soft lockdown or whatever you're having wherever you live uh, see this as the time to open up uh, talents that will help you open doors for the future oh yeah this is a big one actually ENFPs can also thrive seeking experiences within and that means going on a yoga course that means taking up meditation that means going inside and having those kind of experiences that can be fulfilling for you too it can be a bit out of your comfort zone but it can definitely be worth it and that's just my quick advice as an INFJ now when thinking about the ENFP adventure First, let's remind ourselves what it is that ENFPs so much love, because I think there is a misunderstanding when it comes to ENFPs. I think first uh, there is a misunderstanding that ENFPs uh, just want to have fun, or that it's uh, uh, thirst for something crazy or random or odd. And also, I think there is a misassumption that ENFPs thirst for something that is intense or vivid or extreme or flashy, when a lot of the time the things the ENFPs dream of are actually quite laid back and chill in a sense because the ENFPs they go about life in this intuitive with this intuitive shyness you know it's not just about jumping into or having a big party or having a big event or uh, filling your life up with something you know you're not ENFPs they don't fear emptiness ENFPs they don't fear boredom that's not it, you know, ENFPs can be bored, or actually, I don't know if ENFPs can be bored because they're always thinking of new things and they have a lot of fun in their own heads. But I think there is a thirst for meaningful experiences. And so that's very important. As an ENFP, if you're pursuing shallow experiences, you're still gonna experience FOMO. So you're gonna be doing stuff, you're gonna be out there, you're gonna be uh, screaming or doing things loudly or in the flashy colors, but you're not gonna feel content you're not gonna feel satisfied so search for experiences that make you feel satisfied search for experiences that make you feel seen now this is the time where I remind you that there's a subscribe button down here and you can click on it you can also click to follow for updates whenever new videos come I'll try to make new videos in the future that will really speak to you peace finally I want to end with the important message uh, for people who want to become more adventurous, like the ENFP, because I think uh, if you struggle with fear of seizing new opportunities or fear of having experiences, you know, uh, this is kind of crazy, but just as there are people who fear missing out, people who feel anxiety thinking about not having something to do or somewhere to go or something meaningful to do, uh, there are people that fear having something meaningful to do and experiencing something that matters or will speak to them or will connect to them. Some people constantly shield themselves from the possibility of uh, having genuine connection, of uh, going to new places, taking on a new job or accepting a promotion or uh, going on a concert or going on a new date with somebody fresh and exciting or potentially really cool uh, because uh, there can be a fear of change there can be a fear of uh, novelty there can be a fear of uh, um, not having control because uh, that's also part of what an ENFP does an ENFP surrenders control uh, surrenders to chance to new possibilities to new options to new opportunities 
not knowing fully what they commit to. ENFPs have no idea what's going to happen next way after doing this. ENFPs have no idea what this, uh, how it's going to turn out, or where it's going to lead. ENFPs are constantly disappointed because, yeah, not all opportunities led somewhere. Not all relationships gave something meaningful. Not every uh, skill or course you started led to some interesting discovery or some new potential realization. But still, ENFPs love it, and they love it for the sake of itself. They love opportunity for the sake of itself, just having it, just going there, just knowing that you're at least making experiences, you're at least learning, you're at least trying new things, you're at least growing as a person. And that's the kind of realization I feel ENFPs teach the world, and that's what ENFPs can teach you. So if you're ever looking to have new opportunities, if you're ever looking for courage, go find it in an ENFP. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.